Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is our last uh, presentation about the nuts and bolts of our class. In this presentation, I'm going to I'll cover the choice assignment. Um, as you can tell from this presentation and in other presentations, I do try to give students uh, choices in their assignments. Uh, to um, make sure that the uh, material that you are covering in this program, especially in this class, is applicable to you, something that you're interested in doing. So make sure that you always pick topics uh, throughout this class and other classes where you have choices. It's something that you want to learn more about because you will care more about things that are of interest to you. Okay? So in this uh, assignment you have the choice between completing one of two different assignments. One assignment is called the scenarios and athletic training. The other one is called best of the best. So I'll go over the scenario assignment first and then the best of the best after that. But regardless, whatever assignment you choose to do, and this week you're going to make a decision which of the two assignments you're going to do. Uh, you either write a paper or you do an audio presentation. More than likely, most of you will do a paper because uh, when I give students choices between doing a paper or a presentation, generally speaking, majority of students do the paper, which is fine. and There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're doing the audio presentation, um, you can do various types of doing that. The only limitation that you have on doing an audio presentation is that you have to be able to link it or upload it in the form so other students can watch it uh, or listen to it. But if you're writing your paper, you have these uh, requirements here. If you follow the APA formatted uh, template provided to you in the Moodle orientation course, pretty much all that stuff should be included in there already uh, except uh, how you cite your references within the paper. Okay. Um, some other things to consider if you're doing a presentation as I said in the uh, the signature assignment presentation make sure you do a good oral presentation you're not boring monotone and have no voice inflection and you just want to put everybody to sleep. Uh, and um, make sure that uh, you can actually upload it in Moodle. Uh, as I said in another presentation, that if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you may have a difficult time to actually upload that because um, you may time out. So you need to be uh, connected to the Internet via the Ethernet on your computer. All right, enough of that gibberish. The scenarios and athletic training education presentation you'll download in the form. So if you go to the choice assignment form, which you are in, because you're watching this assignment here, you have all these links. I'll download all this stuff here. Uh, there are scenarios here. Uh, I think there's four different scenarios uh, that, that you'll uh, choose one of them this week. You'll choose, uh, I'm going to do the scenarios in athletic training education assignment for my choice. Then you, you choose this scenario that you want to work on. Uh, it's not first come, first serve on here. You can more, more than one student can complete a scenario. So um, we can have multiple students doing the same scenario, which is fine. So you'll choose that scenario. Then basically what you're going to do is you're going to figure out how to fix the problem. Uh, they're all educational, athletic training educational issues, and you're going to fix the problem. So um, the your paper or presentation will include an introduction, the actual scenario. Then you're going to identify what the issue is, what's the concern here then you're going to discuss the way to fix it, the pedagogical way to fix that situation and then fix it. Uh, provide a student learning outcome using a format provided uh, to discuss how this outcome is needed, uh, why this outcome is needed. 
and provide a summary and conclude or conclusion and summary section. So again, here's the scenario. This is the issue that's going on. This is how we can fix this issue. This should be the outcome, the learning outcome that the students should be able to do uh, through this educational opportunity that we're providing them and why this is important to have that outcome for that student. Um, and then with all papers and presentations, you always tell them what you're going to tell them, what's in the introduction, tell them, that's the body of the thing, and then remind them what you just told them, that's the conclusions in the summary. Um, you need to use at least five additional resources um, with your presentation. And I have a rubric in the appendix that you can see that you're going to be used, that is going to need to be used in this presentation or in this um, assignment. Again, same type of thing. We're going to post this in a form. That's five points. You're going to provide open ended questions again, another five points. And you're going to f keep that discussion going through the week that we're doing our presentations. That's 15 points. And then each student will listen to or read at least two other students' presentations. Now, that includes the best of the best, too. So you can do one scenario, one best of the best. So just total of two. It's not a total of four for these two assignments. It's just a total of two uh, between the two different choice assignments that we have here. Okay. So a very similar kind of concept with our threaded discussions. Now, the best of the best is a bit different than this scenario uh, and sometimes I thought we should just I should have all students just do the best of the best but I just don't know if every student would be able to to complete this uh, assignment so what the idea behind the best of the best uh, assignment is that you would find a, a teacher could have been somebody that you had as a, as a teacher or talking to other students at the place that you work at uh, that, all the students say this this teacher is my favorite because they're a good teacher. The teacher doesn't need to be an athletic training educator; it can be other subjects. But that teacher needs to exemplify the qualities of the best of the best teaching uh, behaviors. So you find that teacher, you contact that person, ask them if you can observe them teaching, and to interview them. Um, I'd also I have an interview form that I have for you. You need to record the, the interview. Um, uh, because you're not going to hear anything when you're writing it down. So you just got to get their consent. You have to have the teacher read and sign the in consent, informed consent form and a demographic form, which I have for you. Uh, if you can observe the class, use the observational radio, rating scale to uh, rate that teaching. Interview the best uh, teacher using this best of the best pro interview protocol that I've already provided for you. Uh, and then after you do all that stuff, after you've interviewed them, observed them, done all this stuff, then you're going to actually do your presentation or your paper. As the other one, you're going to provide an introduction. Then you provide a biographical sketch of the teacher, where they work, what they teach, where they went to college, how long they've been teaching, all those type of things, their background about that person. Uh, explain how and why this teacher was selected, what makes them the best of the best in your opinion before you even got to know them. So after you did your observation and interview, uh, what themes arose that demonstrated that they were an effective teaching teacher? Um, how is this supported by the literature on effective teaching? Uh, you can provide quotes and examples from the teacher um, that shows that they are meeting, uh, that they are effective and an effective teacher. Um, and the other thing, was this teacher really the best of the best teacher? Why or why not? Support your conclusions using the literature. Um, the D and E and F are the most important part of this assignment. Um, why are they in the best of the best? Were they the best of the best? Were they an effective teacher? Uh, were they helping their students learn um, during the lesson that you observed? And the last part is a conclusion. What is the take home message or the so what 
of this uh, assignment for you. And then I'll assess this using a rubric and you can find in Appendix D of the syllabus. Um, and the same kind of thing, you're going to post this in the form. Uh, same kind of thing, you're going to post in the form, you're going to provide two to four open-end questions for others to respond to and you will keep your threaded discussion going by asking more probing questions. And then again, we're not going to do a total of four responses this in, during this week. It's just a total of two. You, you can read one scenario and one best the best. So that's up to you. Well, probably by the time we get to the class, I'll make a decision on what we're going to do that week. Because uh, if everybody does the, the scenarios, basically probably all I have you do is read one student that did the same scenarios you and one who did somebody did a different scenario than you so uh this is both these assignments are pretty fun um test your knowledge on a lot of things here but this week what you need to decide is which of the two choice assignments you will complete either the scenarios in athletic training education or the best of the best if you're going to do the scenarios tell me which scenario number you'll do um, best of the best uh, may not know a teacher yet but if you have an idea of who that teacher might be you can also post that as always if you have questions please post them in the Q&A form